Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a new video. So this is going to be uh, another tape uh, collection video. I've got a lot of G's. I didn't know that I had that many G's in my collection, even though I almost half of it is just of one band and but the rest is just scattered um random bands uh there are a few copies of um there are a few tapes a few albums of the same band but what is that very soon uh so without further ado let's dive in first one is the gevreesde ziekte one of the best releases last year absolutely love this one still gets a lot of spins and of course released through the Zwartgeveg records this is absolutely sold out so good luck getting one and this one another dutch band gestalte with ashes of the soul and a very very great very good black metal from the netherlands again released by Zwartgeveg I don't think these uh this project is around anymore I think it is um it is gone it is over over and done uh then we got um grim orc with under this great shadow obviously um uh, how do you say it uh, Hawking inspired don't know that much about this um about this project has been a while since i've spun it uh but either way i have a key collection then we have another dutch band algeras with Bolswichterij. again another uh great black metal band that isn't around anymore sadly or might be around i don't know i don't think they're around anymore but could have done my research better. In yeah, indeed. Uh, however, uh, this is also a Dutch project, but it isn't released on Zwartgevecht. This is released on Catalyst Records. Then we have a Godless North with Dark Rites of the Mystic Order. Underrated stuff, and I know I really need to replace this. This case. Um, yeah, I won't open it up any further. Um, handwritten tape. That's all. Falling apart. Luckily, I do have some spare cases lying around somewhere. Hopefully, they didn't crack as well during moving a long time ago. Uh, then we have a Dutch Doom project, Ghoul, with a Dwaling. This is one of those Tartarus Records. Uh, releases where you fold it open like this and you have just like that and that's one of the trademarks of Tartarus Records and cards. I don't know what very very good uh, doom metal highly recommended um, I believe this has been sold out for a couple of years but if you can find a few copies for a decent price, I highly recommend you guys to check out Ghoul with Bolswichterij. With uh, Tabaling, sorry. Still stuck with the uh, different tape. Again, a Dutch project, Hot Summer, uh, released through uh, The Throat. 50, got number 32. I believe this project isn't around anymore um it, even though it doesn't have one of those uh stickers on it i love it when they do a and b and you actually know what you're playing uh then we have goat perverser with the first sacrifice lovely cover as always axle tape always good stuff very do-it-yourself black metal, not much going on. Um, 
Great stuff, to be honest. Uh, released through... Mouth cross distribution, I think. Uh, then we have some amazing atmospheric black metal that nobody knows. Guardians Sorrow with the Ruins of an Empire Forged by Love. And it's actually kind of, yeah, kind of logic that basically nobody knows it. This, this tape is only released with 10 copies. Um, never seen it anywhere, I believe. Charlie Pettifer had one. One of the uh, one of these as well. Back in the day when I used to talk a lot with him. Um, yeah, but go check this out. If anything from this video uh, piques your interest, this should be um, should be the one. All right, next step. Get over. The first two are from the same band. Grabjammer with the Zaldequel, uh, one of the last. I believe the last release of Graf Jammer. Uh, one of the most fun projects um, out of the Netherlands from Utrecht. Really, really great stuff. All right, and the other release of Graf Jammer, yeah, it's, it's a very dark cover, but got koud gemaakt. Yep. Um, black tape, really cool. And this is, to be honest, one of uh, my least favorite. I do have the 7 inch uh, Smerenburg, I believe it's called. And that is actually my favorite. So, uh, that one, Graf Jammer Koud gemaakt. Then we go back to, oh, we stay in the Netherlands. Grim Fate with Paris in Torments. Gold Tape. It's a duo release between. John Breed Records and um, Seed of Doom, which I'm still not really certain if they're Dutch or American or both. Um, and the tape is gold. Logos of projects right there. Pretty cool. And some brutal, brutal stuff. The brutal is in the way of death metal. Uh, then the next four are from the same band, uh, Grey Aura, this is their duo release through um, Tartarus Records. Um, this one, yep, Gelige Dramatische Zielsverrukking, movies on YouTube, and this is the tape, this tape actually has a booklet. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah, this is actually one of my favorite um, projects from the Netherlands. Um, the or they just announced that they are going to do a new project, uh, Swart Vlak, I believe it's called. Um, and I'm really looking forward to that. This is the second uh, release. Uh, the Beswijkende, uh, Beswijkende Deugd and TDs on YouTube probably get demonetized or taken down, but I uh, yeah. And that's the tape again. And this also has a small booklet. Um, yeah, so Tartarus Records is guaranteed quality. Um, and I will. Congratulate them on their uh, birthday a couple of days ago. Really proud to have one of those uh, tape labels in the Netherlands. And as well, um, this one was Gele uh, Dramatische Zielsverrukking. This one is a different tape release uh, by the throat through um, through the throat. Of Grey Aura. Really, really weird artwork, but nonetheless, quite awesome to have a different version of this in the collection. Just a blank tape, not blank feet. And one of their earliest work, 
candle smoke. This is Garth West. So basically most of the underground back black metal labels have had grey aura releases for the bigger um underground black black metal labels from the Netherlands have released a Zwarte of uh, a Grey Aura release. So oh, sorry for that. Then we go to I believe this was Denmark or Sweden. This band is sadly not around anymore. This was one of the best um HM2 old school death metal shit going on. This is Gorgonaut with the Fowl and the Feral. Some really, really, really good stuff. And this is very, very limited. Um, I believe you can only get this um, if you send him a message personally, uh, which I did. And he actually responded to me. And a pretty patch with it. And a pretty sticker. And he said, like, absolutely, I will, I will send one to you. And over here, number four, it's actually hand number to this. Fucking cool. Sadly, not around anymore. Um, goat horns with a full moon warship. I believe this is jumps. Some straight up uh, black metal stuff going on. Looks really old. Um, I haven't listened to this in ages. Or I don't know if I have ever listened to it, which I still need to do. Then we got a split release. I believe this could be some sketchy shit going. Uh, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I will pronounce it, but I know I'm so wrong with this. Gon Fanons with their the partners with the album Whispering Swords in the Forest Darkness Try to say that <laughs> Alright, but yeah uh, I believe this is all Polish black metal uh, could be so wrong but I believe this is Polish it looks really like Gravelands uh, worship. I could be wrong, but it looks like that. And then we go to uh, Goat Terrorism with Pandemonic Orthodox Blasphemy. Sticking random words after each other. Looks fucking grim, and I believe, and I remember that this is fucking fucking good it has been a while since i listened to this and now i see it i really want to spin it again released through a uh, goat cult productions um and it says goat cult productions are proudly member of the satanic legion faction <laughs> awesome all right and uh, over here you go I'm trying to find links for these in the description. And the last one um, that is just of the uh, random bands of the G's. This is the Dutch band Grim with, with Hexenkringen. I believe I have this on CD as well. Could be wrong, but uh, Grim is one of those um, all respected, I believe, in Dutch black metal. Everybody knows and loves this record that has any familiarity um, with the Dutch black metal scene. You know uh, Grim Hexen, Kringen. Just really, really great black metal. Okay, so um, the rest of these tapes are just from one band and one band only. That is called Graveland. Uh, this is actually my whole collection of Graveland I do I have some vinyl and one or two CDs but on tape it's quite affordable uh, to uh, to get the collection complete 
has been a while since I've added something to the uh, Graveland collection, but yeah, here we go. Graveland Epilogue, um, of course, repress. Oh god, absolutely. This was wasn't the repress, but uh, by looking at the quality, this is absolutely a repress. I will not go in any depth of all of these. I won't talk about these records, uh, about these uh, albums, but I will show them to you. This is a fire, uh, the fire of awakening, uh, Nightbirds records release, uh, limited to three hundred. Okay, ninety one comes on this tape, just like that, and like this. Yeah, cool drawings, shit. I do have a lot more to uh, complete the collection, uh, but. One day. Uh, this one is really beat up, so I won't take it out. Uh, this is a Blood of Heroes. Uh, this is the um, Evil Rising um, release uh, together with Nightbirds. Uh, limited to 300, I got number 136. That's pretty, pretty beat up. Uh, so I won't take it out. I do have a, a different version of um, Blood of Heroes, that is this one. And that's the Signal Rex release, uh, quite a no, more known label in black metal scene. Um, and I like this cover a bit more, to be honest. Only two songs, but quite cool to have in the collection. Tape, go tape. That's pretty cool. So the next one is Impaler's Wolves. Um, from Graveland, of course. Uh, good old Vlad Dracula, right there for your face. Uh, again, an Evil Rising Nightbirds uh, release. And this is the one where I couldn't get it out of the case because something is stuck. And I don't know how to get it out. Yes. Uh, up to the next one, Celtic Winter. This is the um, Kolovgrad uh, edition. I quite like this cover, to be honest. Looks quite awesome. I don't know about the limitation, but um, some of these J cards are just really long. Uh, this is quite okay-ish, but I believe the upcoming few have long J cards. So. Then we have something Polish. I'm absolutely going to pronounce that. But Yep. I absolutely butchered that. Sorry for that. Uh, if any Polish people are watching, they will absolutely laugh at me. Yeah, it's... It's that. Try to pronounce that as a non-Polish person. Oh. <laughs> Alright, but... We're here for the music and counts. I know there are a lot of um, times uh, where Graveland has uh, changed their sound. But, um, overall, I think it's a very sturdy project, and that's exactly what I like about Graveland. So, all right, the next one is uh, Cold Winter Blades. Uh, this is a wearable promotion release, limited to 500 copies. I got 358. There we go. Really cool rim. And I love the how they have done the tape. Cool. Then we have uh, Will Stronger Than Death. And if anybody is um, doubting uh, the ideology behind this project, uh, try to separate the ideology from the... This is one of the long J cards I was talking about. Looks pretty cool. So, 
Yeah, uh, I don't support the ide ideology that that Rob Darkin um, probably has. I do support the music though, just like uh, for a veganist. Uh, then we have Dawn of the Iron Blades. Uh, this is a Nightbirds Records release. Uh, 300 copies, and I got 97. And let's say, looks like that. Then we have a Drunamaton. Again, this is not an original. This is an Evil Rising Nightbirds collab. Uh, limited to 300 and I got 174. One of the earlier releases of Gravelands. Now we have Spears of Heaven. And well, uh, the first thing was that attracted me to um, the Graveland was the logo I have of the logo of Graveland. This so this again is a very long J card. Artwork's fucking awesome. To show you which logo I mean, that logo. Oh, hopefully the camera has picked that up. It looks like that. It's fun to uh, to collect something from a project that is big, and this many releases. So uh, then we have Thunderbolts of the Gods. Could have been an Amonomart cover. Again, one of the longer J cards. One of the later releases from Graveland. I believe he already got a few new ones under his belt or like re reinventing, re resharpening the swords and stuff. Uh, then we have a Wota Midmia. You have this on the uh, vinyl as well, which is actually one of my favorite vinyl. Yeah, and this is uh, this is limited to three hundred copies, and I got two hundred and fifty-one. It looks like that. Then we have memory and destiny. This. Is released by Dooler Records and Nightbirds Records, limited to 300, and I got 109. So, yeah, I do have uh, this is the second to last, or the one before last. I don't know. Uh, I do have some other um, tapes that I uh, really want to have from Graveland, but it will come in its own. This uh, so the last one is Pravo Stali. Polish version, I believe you have the English version as well. But this one, and again, quite a long J card. Not as long as the other ones, but so it's cool to have in the collection. Um I do want to have all of the Craver and releases so one day. I believe there are a few that two or three that are not released on uh, tape or not released on vinyl. Um, so we'll have to get that on CD. So yeah, this was a quite a long one. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And my girl has made me some alcohol, and I will taste that. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next video.